I'm so pumped. Yesterday, I got schooled by Ragbri, and today, I'm in charge. This is part two of Ragbri, Register's annual bike ride across Iowa. Okay, day one, 10 out of 10? Yeah. I can't describe how good it is. If you're just joining us, start with part one. We'll link it here. This episode starts on day four and goes all the way to the Mississippi River. And we positioned the RVs so we can all ride together. Okay, somebody excited to go bike riding? I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I'm trying to put my hat in. <laughs> How, what do you do for a helmet head? I need a hat. The best, <laughs> oh, yeah. the best part. That's the best part. Um, it's a uh, four like twenty in the morning. Here, mm -hmm. hold on. It's a little later yeah, now. Four twenty-eight. Four twenty-eight, mm -hmm. 28 and we are leaving at um, four fifty-seven. Jeff built a whole itinerary, which made it like really fun. Yeah. So we have lots of boxes to check. Mm -hmm. good morning. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Day four. It's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, it is. It oh is. yeah. Look forward to having the whole gang uh, yep. getting to do the big ride from uh, Ames, Iowa, to yeah. uh, where are we going? Des Moines. With my high socks on. <laughs> Everybody looking at my high socks on. Oh, 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 wow, that's bright, that's bright. Okay, sorry, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Yeah, well, just before we uh, pull out here, I just wanna make sure, equipment wise, so start with your feet. First. That's what so I shoes, do. Shoes. Just a brother from another uh, mother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wanna make Whoa. sure. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Like oh, a, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, little, this is a little makeup little, mirror uh, yeah. for the GMC. Wow, well, I tell you. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? How was the air Hey, this is my wife, Trisha. Hi, I'm Trish. Nice to meet you. Did you keep a safe today? Keep a healthy, high-ranking, we love you. We add this day in the money name of God. Amen. Amen. I think everybody's a little excited today. This is going to be a big day. It's the record-breaking day, but also, you know, Caleb and I are particularly excited because we've we've wanted to ride with Trish for a while, and today's her first day. Wouldn't necessarily recommend taking on a 50-mile ride on your first ever day on a road bike, but you know that's how we roll, and uh, she was she was good with it. So how do you know a fresh rider, someone who just plugged in on day four? <laughs> they're like, hi, hi, good morning, good morning. This is great, lovely day. Thanks for being here. <laughs> We have flags, we have hot air balloons, we have pickles, bananas, <laughs> coffee. Now we just need a breakfast bowl. Yes, and that's here at this stop. But it's isn't here it amazing? Right now? Look at the yeah. Uh, drag out. it through the garden. Is that a you thing or is that a farm kids thing? It's a me thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I use that. I use that at yeah. Subway, and <laughs> I use that uh, when I was in the dorm in college. Okay. And, it's uh, a great it line. Just, it, well, it so it's everything. It's so drag up. it through it's the garden. Up. All right. Well, maybe the farm kids will adopt it now. If they hear this, they'll be they'll come up with a drag it through the garden. They could they follow their name there. Yeah, farm yeah, kids. yeah. I, I gotta say, like when you order a hamburger, would you like everything? Drag it through the garden. There's no yeah. misunderstanding of what that means. Not anymore. There's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is the true hero right here. Oh yeah. He's got three stages of bacon. Man. He's making it happen. He is, he is the ultimate farm kid. He is. Yes, he is. <laughs> If you ever want to get happy, you need to go to a triathlon, a marathon, or rag ride. Yes. Because the energy is right here. Yeah. Sassy lemonades in a pork shop. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, do it right. <laughs> 
I tell you, is this not total indoctrination on how to become a road cyclist? I mean, if, if this isn't the best day one on a road bike. Is it ringing? Oh, it is ringing outside. Uh, root beer float, thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Is that a root beer float? Did you go for the root beer float? I had to. Awesome. It's good. It's really good. It's really it's good. good. It's Did you get a spoonful? I got a spoonful. And yeah, what do you think? Woo! <laughs> so we got a slip and slide in a pool right down the street that way. Uh-huh. And a pool. And a pool. Wow. And a pool. <laughs> If you scan and look for water towers, that's an indication of your next town. Oh, nice. Thanks to these gentlemen over here. You're the designers of this uh, water, what do you call these things? Water fill, fill station. Fill station. This is the best one. What, where are we right now? West Liberty. West Liberty. And this, and you've made the best fill station on the whole route. Congratulations. Yeah, turn on the missing system. When do you turn that on? When it gets a little hot? Yeah, I got some people telling us it was a little too early. Oh, it's fantastic. Whoa. How many meetings did it take? <laughs> Zero meetings. <laughs> Jeff and Deb have to make their way to the next adventure in Leadville, Colorado, but we enjoyed their company for the few days we got them. Saying goodbye to friends is part of the RV lifestyle, and that's why we say, see you down the road. But the ride must go on, now with Winston, Andy, Caleb, and Mark. It is 4.30, that is our departure time. We're back. <laughs> Hello. The true heroes, the guys who keep riding. <laughs> I'll be drinking my coffee and relocating the rig. Hey, that's that's not easy, actually. It's a lot. Well, there, Trisha's gonna have a lot to do tonight. Um, today. All right. Oh yeah. Look at that. Better lighting. Anyway, so uh, Caleb's not feeling so hot, but um, you know, what are we gonna do? We gotta go. It's four thirty. Um, it's gonna take us twenty minutes to get there. Ten minutes to unload the truck, and we're rolling at five because that's when Winston and Sip were leaving. So and so it begins. Four fifty-five a.m. We're gonna. We found a meeting spot somewhere over there. <laughs> Jesse. And uh, our roll time is five a.m. So Kelvin gives us four minutes to get the bikes out. And get over there. So Turn off and stuff. I was riding behind Winston with those lights a couple days ago, and um, I still see those lights when I sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, try, to put it, try to put it on the wrong way. Every time I close my eyes, Winston, I see those two lights. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, big news. I just backed up the truck on the first shot and I got the ball right underneath the hitch. Super proud of myself, but guess what? I wasn't recording. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna put you outside so you can see this hookup process. I'm very pumped because I just found a 50 amp full service place to um, park for the night so the guys can have AC and we can do showers and everything else. Um, close to the finish line. But I first want to say thank you to the Hensley family for letting us stay here tonight and they were gracious enough to say, yeah, stay the next night too. But Mark said, if we stay one more night, then we have to wake up at 3 a.m. instead of 4 a.m. to uh, leave to be on time for the start line. So come with me, let's pack up, let's get ourselves over to the next spot. I'm gonna show you the little curve in the grass because this wasn't easy <laughs> and it was definitely ridiculous looking. But you know what, you gotta laugh at yourself and you gotta try because if you don't try, then you'll never get good at this. And I really only back a rig in like every six to eight months. And so um, if there's someone around, I rely on them. But no one was around, so I had to do this myself. And um, it was a little embarrassing. But you know what, I'm here, I'm gonna hook up. I don't know how level I'm gonna get it and you know Mark loves to be level. So um, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna unhook and I'm gonna go pick these guys up um, but today so far, I've gotten the laundry done. I found a camping spot, which is like a needle in a haystack. I backed the rig in, and now I'm gonna go pick up the guys. I feel like it's a good day. Total success. Okay. Andy, I'm about to make some very bad decisions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> rhubarb strawberry? Strawberry rhubarb, see? Right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you need to get. Really? Why? Because you have to. That's a, that's the flavor, apparently. Yeah, I've got 4,000 feet of climbing. You got 4,000? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a big day. Yeah. And 82 miles, it says there's seven miles left. All right, we checked only two boxes today, but they were two good ones at the right time. Winston had his sweet corn. And we had the Amish pie. Thank you. Okay, it clicked on. Oh, there we go. That's on, you'll notice our door came off. Those were the roads in part of Nova Scotia. <laughs> and now we're gonna turn this little puppy on and we're gonna go power on. Power on. <gasps> Two air conditioning units because it's 50 amp. Okay. We'll just give this a second to make its way and I'll go get the water going. This is not easy and I'm very sweaty, but it's so awesome. Man, am I glad to be in Tampa. Or I could be in Toledo. Tama, Tama, Toledo? Tama, Toledo. I think that's what Ragbright calls it. I'm glad to be here because it was a, a bit of a cluster getting in here, I'll tell you that. The police were doing the best they could, but with the cars and the traffic and the buses and people turning left, it's, it's a disaster. Right, on to US 30 East. Okay, team, you're doing a good job. Keep it up. You're working hard. But this is rewarding. This is the kind of thing that grows with time. You look back and you think, I did that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Oh. You all set? You ready? Ready to go. Second to last day. Full gas. Woo! Morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta turn off the alarm. <laughs> Hey, what time did we say we were going to leave, Winston? Five. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. <laughs> Trish, what's your plan today? Um, oh, you know, not much. Just going to relocate a rig and all that. <laughs> oh, Find a place to sleep. <laughs> I love that. Love that feeling. Not knowing where I'm going. Um, 
Do you know where we're going today, Andy? Um, it's a good question. I guess we live in the next town. <laughs> By day six, the boys were feeling strong, working together and keeping a fast pace. They've checked enough boxes by now just to pass through the pass-through towns, except to chat with inspiring people. I have customized the bike, but yeah. everything works good. Yeah. I've got a team with me. And yeah. I crashed on the first day, not because of my fault, but somebody cut in front of me and I went down and had to go to the hospital, but I'm back on it. Oh, there you going to the hospital, you're back on it. Uh, you first, can't drive all the way from Cleveland, Tennessee to come here to ride and then back out after the first day. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, first ride ride? First ride ride. As for me, I found another full hookup RV park with 50 amp service. I just needed to figure out how to get there with all the road closures. Okay, I got stuck down a dirt road for like five miles. I tried to get around it. I tried to get under it. I tried to do everything. I just had to go through it. I literally had to drive with the cyclists, and I wish I had footage for you, but I didn't, ah, because there's too much going on all by myself. Anyway, now I'm in this beautiful site, but it's completely on level. Mark and Caleb are waiting for me. I gotta get up on these things, and then we can go pick them up and find out how their day went. I just don't want to be all soaking wet. I spontaneously, we ended up getting haircuts. We were going to La Mexica next door, and I noticed that there was a raised barber. And I came in, I said, can you wash our hair? And he says, absolutely. So I said, you know, washing our hair. Now Caleb's getting a little tune up, and ended up going short. It needs to get in the middle there. So, just one more thing, Charlie, I promise. He won't even look at me. He's like, don't look at me. You're done. You're done. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a snake. It was a really? Snake. What we do every night before we go to bed at 8 30. not every night because i'm charging the drone because i went up to get the best shot in the world today stopped pulled over got the drone out set it all up too low battery to take off so this was a nice little paperweight i've been carrying around and then i go charge up the gopro batteries charge the canon batteries charge the garmin's caleb's 530 my 1040 gotta find caleb's might still be somewhere i gotta charge his I get the water bottles out of the back of the truck. I decide what LMT element we're gonna put in for our supplements tomorrow. Just uh, what, what jerseys are we gonna wear? If we can match tomorrow, I think we're gonna wear our Flagstaff jerseys for the last day. The alarm, the alarm is set for 3.40. We hit the coffee maker. We are out this door at, what, 3, 4.30, so that we can meet everybody by 10 till five. That's been our rhythm. It's pretty good. Okay, we're going to bed. See you in the morning for the last day. Ooh. I don't know how it's hard to do hard things, uh -huh. but when the last day comes, it's still kind of sad. Oh, <laughs> really? You're right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Earlier we're like, oh, oh. all right. Oh, we were counting the days down. Yeah. And, and now the, the last day is here. You guys are going to tire dip. Yes. Um, uh, you never know when Winston's going to go live on Facebook. Uh, One minute I'm putting. Caleb's tire on, and the next minute he says, Good morning, <laughs> Facebook Live. 
So, what? anyway, he said, uh, I said, I thought we'd be at the Tire Dip Mississippi by noon, and Winston says, what are you talking about? We'll be there by 10. What do you think, Andy? If he wants to get there by 10, should we get there by 10? Let's throw the bag uh, in the middle. I think 11. <laughs> 11. Okay. Ten. 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 I know we got to I think my mom got to have her stuff at her, her hotel by 11. Okay. So, oh. uh, I want to get there to get a shower in the hotel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Today was just a blast. You guys were fast. Yeah, it's 10:17. Well done. Winston said 10. We stopped yeah. for like a half an hour. I know. We would have been here at 9:45. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I was tracking you guys, and I was like, "No, oh, I need to get in the car immediately." Where is Winston? Hey, look. Just a little bit. Okay. Me. Look, I set up this shot. You're supposed to go through the balloon. Oh, we gotta go through the balloon. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Who do you think you're dealing well, with here? Well, there's no photo finish. <laughs> well, I guess it is a photo finish. <laughs> All right. Here's Winston. Woo! There he is. Let's cross with Winston. Okay, go with Winston. All right, here. Woo! Hey, there they go. All right. Rag ride complete. Oh, well, we need a tire dip. We're walking down to the water. Winston's going backwards so he can has power. And a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Stop. Oh. Woo! Oh, yes. Let me, get, let me get a photo of you. Awesome. All right. All scale right. of one to ten, rag ride overall. Ten. Ten? It's a ten. If you don't ride, it's a lot more riding than it looks like. Um, if you do ride, the miles go by a lot quicker than you would ever expect. Yep. And even if you don't ride, the miles go by very quick. You will be very shocked to see what it's like. <laughs> what do you think? You concur with Caleb's comments? <laughs> yeah, I concur. <laughs> what are you laughing I, I about? I don't think I can top that. <laughs> it was a great ride. It was the right distance, the right elevation, the right atmosphere. It was, uh, it's definitely a, a bucket list item. Yeah, I agree. Dumps. Okay, any last comments from the, from the ultimate SAG machine? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, okay, so there's this meme where a wife is talking to her husband. Yeah. And she's like, me, planning my next vacation while we're on vacation. Because yes. I have to. Yes. And I feel like that's what you have to do when you do something like this. you got to plan what's next. You do. So we need to figure out what is your next ride. I agree. It might be raw, which is the ride across Wisconsin. It yeah. might be the ride across Tennessee. I think I, I vote for Tennessee. Okay, first. I think Raw might be like me, Andy, and Tyler. There you go. Okay. All right, let's go find some food. High five. Well done. Yeah, see you later. I'm so impressed with you. Oh, thanks, babe. Yeah. Let's see, so Trish will say mine four points. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Man, that is so, I love that. I love that. Oh my gosh. I look like Dog the Bounty Hunter. I mean, what the heck is going on here? All the Blue Ribbon guys stay together at the end? We're trying. Yeah, that's good. How many Blue Ribbon guys you got? We got eight here. We got a couple of girls back behind us. They're gonna do sweet. How many Blue Ribbons have you had on the on the, on the the ride? You mean actual drinks? Yeah, the actual drinks. Oh, you can't count that. Oh, it's just yeah. unlimited, right? Unlimited. <laughs> water man <laughs> with electrolytes we, so we had quite a few craft beers too we all got our t-shirts oh good oh good that's good do you put electrolytes in the beer no no that would be crazy <laughs> that would ruin the taste of the beer <laughs>